Well, a very good morning. Well, it's almost like 10 a.m. And we are starting a new trip. I'm back. I know it's been like maybe a week since I uploaded a vlog. And I normally don't like go in like two weeks, but you know, things happen. Been enjoying the holidays. I'm sure everybody has as well. And I hope you had a very lovely, beautiful holiday. But, oh, I need to clean out my brush. But we are getting ready right now because we picked up a trip out of base. We are not commuting to Newark. It is New Year's today. And let me find a hair tie. Anyways, so we picked up a trip out of base. Um, I'm not gonna say it's an easy trip. That's a supply chain, never say those words ever. But it is a pretty knock on wood easy position. Um, it is, I did say it's out of Chicago, right? I'm not commuting up to Newark. And we are going to Frankfurt, Germany. I've done Frankfurt plenty of times, but I actually need to go shopping there not specifically there it could have been anywhere internationally but the nespresso boutique isn't far from us so i do want to go to the nespresso boutique i want to probably go to joe malone but we are back to buying and we're taking y'all along with us so we are going to get the day started i did actually buy a positive space ticket from Chattanooga, not Knoxville, because Knoxville was looking horrible. There was no positive tickets to buy because you know, as an airline employee, we do get a discount and there was no discounted tickets to buy out of Knoxville to Chicago. So I went ahead and bought the last seat from Chattanooga to Chicago. And instead of just like, you know, worrying about if I was going to get on or not. And I didn't pick up the trip until after I bought the positive space ticket just to make sure, you know, don't want to bite myself in the bum because there was somebody already listed that was senior to me and I probably wouldn't have been able to get on. So I just went ahead and bought the positive ticket. So yeah, we are going to work. We're back. I'm so excited. It's going to be a good day. Affirmations, new year, gonna be a good day. Back to work, we are excited. Okay, don't mind the shaky camera. Back roads, if you live in the country, then you know, the back roads are always like bumpy. But either way, the hair will be pulled up before the flight. I had to actually quickly blow dry it because I don't have much time before my flight. So we're on our way to Chattanooga, like I said, and um, gonna get into Chicago. I get into Chicago pretty early, so that's why I just wore regular clothes. I could actually wear whatever I want to because I did buy a positive ticket and I don't need to wear my crew badge. I don't need to um, dress in the appropriate non-rev attire, but I still, it just feels weird to me if I wear sweats. Like if it was an international flight, maybe it'd be different, but since it's not, I just feel, since I'm gonna be going to the crew room right after I land, then I'm just gonna dress appropriately. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be on our way. Got about an hour 15 to Chattanooga. Flown for at least a month, over a month. Like if you've seen, that's why I've been busting out those, or not really, but trying to upload home vlogs because I haven't been flying. I've just been enjoying home. You know, winter season, it's flying is a little bit slower than normal. So that's why a lot of people either take off. Also, I have vacation in January and we are going on family vacation. I'm not gonna tell you just yet because it's probably gonna be the vlog after, something like that. And, uh, yeah, I'm so excited. So last trip before vacation, but let's head over to Chattanooga and get our butts to work now.
the Chicago crew room and I'm currently curling my hair. As you can see, I still have like three hours till check-in, but funny story when I just filmed that uh, elf on a shelf or yeah, the elf on the shelf in the pilot's bag, I actually knew the pilot. Funny story, it is um, actually a friend from my regional flying days when I was on the smaller aircrafts and not mainline. If you don't know what the difference between express and mainline is, uh, mainline is where we um, go international. It's not just the domestic U.S. regional. I was at a regional for maybe like six months before going mainline, and I start year six mainline next year. Or, sorry, this February because it's January 1st, but either way. So it was uh, an older friend from the regional days, and I was like, of course it would be him. It's funny, I walked up right behind him and I looked at him and we ran into each other twice now, which is so funny. But uh, yeah, it was his kid's elf on a shelf and he was just carrying around his pilot bag. I was like, that just made me laugh. It just made my day. But yeah, other than that, we are getting ready for work, doing our hair. Flight was easy peasy coming from Chattanooga. If you don't know, um, if you haven't watched my other vlogs or you're new here, I am actually a commuter from Tennessee. Now, sometimes I will go out of Knoxville. If the loads aren't looking too good, I'll go direct out of Nashville, which I don't always like to drive the two hours and 15 minutes, but I will. But this time, you know, just Chattanooga looked better and I bought a positive ticket anyways. So we are here. We are ready for work. I'm so excited. It feels so weird being at work after a month, but we're excited. Okay, y'all, so we are all ready for work. I have a strawberry cream cheese bagel. Oh my gosh. I've never had this place before. It's so good. Sorry if I'm like looking over here and I used to film in on my phone. But um, it's pretty loud around here. I got my strawberry cream cheese bagel and got my liquid IV. I already put that in my water bottle. And now I have only about like two hours left. So I'm gonna get on my company device, kind of see what the flight is looking like. Like if we have global services, one case, passengers like that, special interest, flight time, anything like that, my work in position, things that our link will tell us or our company device. But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my cream cheese bagel. It is a busy day today in Chicago. Here, let me just say that. It's a good idea to tie it. It's a good idea Okay y'all, so we did our safety check, so we're on the aircraft. We have a couple free minutes till we start boarding, but I'm so excited. Amazing crew. We are ready to go to Frankfurt. Flying time is about seven hours and 40 minutes going over, so let's go. Well, hello again. I am back and y'all, I am so tired, literally. Okay, so the hotel luckily gives us tea, so I got some chamomile tea. The flight, German flights are always a little bit of work, but we got through it, everybody was great, just exhausting. <laughs> and I am tired. Of course, it's a gloomy day here in Germany. I think I've had one good time that I came to Germany and it wasn't gloomy. I mean, yeah, it's like London. So, but I am tired, but I want to check in with y'all, tell you the flight was good, we made it over, but I think I am going to definitely shower and probably nap for a couple hours because your girl needs it. I'm going to drink my chamomile tea, and then I do need to go to the Nespresso store, like I said, and then um, either Joe Malone, maybe Joe Malone, I don't know, I'd have to see where it's at. You know, or just poke around a little bit, but all I can think about is sleep right now. Well, actually getting my makeup off. I have this pimple that came on from all the caked on makeup, which one of my subscribers actually suggested the Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer, which I did recently get that. So I didn't use it. I'm, I actually have the, uh, which 
I mean, half of it swiped off from Crew Rest, but I switched to the Dior. Um, is it the Skin Glow? It's the moisturizing one, but either way. And then um, I went to Sephora the other day and got the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, which I really like it too. I should really use it, but I like a little bit more full coverage when I'm at work, but when I'm at home, it's nice to use the Tinted Moisturizer or just like run in errands or something. But yes, I wanna catch y'all up, but I'm gonna shower and then I will see y'all when I wake up. Good night. <laughs> But yes, I am gonna shower and then I will see y'all when I get up. Good night. Mwah. Okay, a little bit of a quick room tour. I don't normally do these for privacy reasons, but the name of the hotel is not around. So got our cutesy little chair, got our desk over here, got the bed, got the lovely bathroom and disheveled me shower. And then, we actually have robes and slippers, yay! I don't think I've gotten a robe and slipper at this hotel before, but it's nice, we love it, that's okay. Okay. Well, a very good evening, y'all. I overslept. It's just, oh my gosh. Sorry, I already put on my, um, the Laura Mercier skin, let me see. Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and Natural Skin Perfector. Okay, the weather here is so hard to not want to sleep all day. And I definitely overslept. It's about four o'clock right now. So I'm like hurrying up, putting on something, and then just gonna put on like a workout outfit and my winter jacket and stuff and go to the Nespresso store. It says it's a 20 minute walk, but we'll see. And then get some food or something. Oh my gosh, I am so tired. I forgot like after not flying for a month your body definitely feels it and I'm feeling it so let's get outside okay y'all so we are ready for the day nothing special since we are actually going to be walking around in the rain got my winter hat got my um just workout gym sweatshirt got my winter jacket tennis shoes, yoga pants, got my black leather gloves. Why do gloves like this like always remind me of like the killer movies? I don't know why. Hopefully nobody like gets weirdo vibes from me. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so I got my energy drink mixed up and then we are about to head out. Okay, so we're back and it is raining cats and dogs, Lord, oh my gosh. I had to pull back up my hair because, uh, and then change out of my wet jacket. I hung that up to dry, but we did our shopping. Look at this bag, look what happened to my Nespresso bag. That's what I get for not taking an umbrella and Nespresso having paper bags. <laughs> or maybe it's just me not being prepared but I think the bag would have still got wet. Either way, let me show y'all what I got. Let me move this around. Okay, so I might as well rip the bag because I'm just gonna put it all in my um, um, suitcase anyways. So, so here's my little energy drink I put in one of the little bottles. So, so lint store, let's start with the lint store. I got some lint, caramel, and sea salt. Since we're about to go on vacation, I wanted to get my in-laws and my parents some chocolate. My husband is gonna love this. He has not had it, but I know he's gonna be obsessed because, okay, not just my husband, but I think we're both gonna be obsessed. The Lint Cream, Cream, is that is that hazelnut spread? I actually can't, I don't know. I saw the nut on it, so I assume that it's the hazelnut spread. I should probably learn Germany. I mean, I should probably learn German. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk, I'm so cold. Okay, I got the Lint wafer. I got these last time at the Lint store when I came to Germany. These are so good. And then I got so many, well, not so many, three. I got the, I think this is, what is that, regular chocolate? I need somebody who's German to help me. 
spine herb. I don't know. Either way, it did have, I assume it's plain chocolate. And then we got the hazelnut. I love chocolate with hazelnut. Sometimes I can't do the plain chocolate, but my husband can, which is great. And then the caramel and sea salt. Like I said, I'm going to give the parents some. Okay, so that's all my lint order. And then Nespresso. Okay, we just got a Nespresso. We finally, after all this time, caught up with the times. I, I did love the Keurig, but I felt like it wasn't spitting out. I'm more of a tea drinker, but for my husband, I make my husband's coffee in the morning. I felt like the Keurig pots were more watered down than the Nespresso. So... And I think I might try some of the Nespresso stuff. So I got the Bianco Forte with milk. It's that one. They're kind of rained on, so just disregard. And then my husband wanted a strong one, caffeine-wise. So I got the Intenso. Actually, I'll just show you the ends because I know that they're color-coordinated. So this caffeine, it's on that level of caffeine. Like I said, I'm just getting into it. So for all you Nespresso lovelies out there, give me some grace, I'm new to it all. Okay, Sweet Vanilla, ooh, Barista Creation Sweet Vanilla. This one I'm excited for. This is the one that I wanted to get for myself. So I'm pretty stoked. So that is our little haul. We just went to Lent Nespresso. Now I have some miso ramen soup because it is so cold outside. I'm rained on. I'm just getting over a sickness. I was like, let me get some soup and ramen soup sounds so good right now. I, I didn't want to stop and sit anywhere. I was like, I got to get back, change. I think I'm going to take a hot shower before my order gets here. And then we are just going to kind of relax. I might start editing this vlog though because I do need to get something up because I've been leaving y'all hanging. I know, I know. I've just been enjoying home, enjoying the holidays. But I want to get this one up before our um, family vacation vlog. But I will actually be on family vacation for the next week after this vlog goes live. Literally, I think an entire week but I'm gonna vlog for y'all and hopefully maybe do a two-part get something up the following week like us getting ready for a vacay or just something you know I hate to go without and I think I've gone like a two-week period now and I don't really like doing that goals goals for 2024 but either way okay we did a haul I'm gonna shower and then I am going to eat I'm hungry my face mask before van time. Other than that, I have been up since about five something, kind of slept throughout the night, nothing too crazy. Um, went to bed late for myself, may not be late to others, but it. I went to bed around like maybe 10, woke up around 5 a.m. And yeah, I got our coffee this morning, worked a little bit on my laptop and it just, been kind of taking it easy. I always wake up super early before van time. I, if I rush to get ready for van time, I feel so anxious the rest of the day. I feel like I'm behind everything else or behind everybody. So I just like wake up slower, either drink tea or I, like I said, I walked to Starbucks, got something, got a croissant. So now we're just taking it easy. Gonna have time for a face mask. Gonna do that. And then we are ready to go home. I'm so excited. One more flight. Knock on wood that it all goes good. But I am so excited for one more flight before vacation. And we are ready. My husband actually has one more flight as well before we head out for vacay. And I'm so excited. I'm ready to get home to the pups. So far, knock on wood, when I land in Chicago, my Chicago to Knoxville flight has plenty of open seats. Knock on wood somewhere. 
that um, it stays like that or there's not like a delay or me mechanical or anything like that. So we are hoping, I'm just excited. So I am gonna go ahead and do this and then we are gonna go ahead and, why do I say go ahead a lot? I say a lot of filler words. I'm trying to work on that in, in, in the new year, not do a lot of filler words like like and so on and so forth. Bear with me, but we are gonna take it a little bit slow, get ready for work, and yeah, I'm so excited to go home. Okay, so we are all packed up and ready for our trip. Got the full uniform, Vince Camuto heels, Cintage dress, got the hair pulled back today. I'm not usually a fan of pulling back my hair, if you can tell from my videos or my TikToks, only because personally, I feel like I look like a boy, but other people rock it so much better than I would. I just feel like kind of look a little boyish, but that, that's okay. It's, it's pulled back. It looks nice for, you know, working an international flight. So we are ready to go. I'm so excited. Last leg before vacay. I'm gonna finish a little bit of water. I already looked at my link and my company issued device. So it looks like flying time is um, blocked a little over nine hours, but the exact flying time is gonna be nine hours. And then we are taking the 787-10 back to Chicago. I'm so excited, y'all. It just, it feels so good to be back at work. Like, I was hesitant about picking up a trip, but I'm honestly so happy that I did. Like, it feels good to be back. It feels good to socialize. As much as I love home, it the crew is absolutely amazing. I feel like you can get through any hard day with an amazing crew. And it's a pretty senior crew. I'm obviously the most junior, but... Everybody is absolutely amazing. They are so fun. We're all just like joking, laughing, like just, you know, it's, it. there's no tension, there's no drama, and we love that in crews. You just never know, especially being Newark based, big personalities. As much as I love Newark, as much as it's always been my base, just a lot of personalities in Newark. I think that's anywhere really but Newark especially. <laughs> but we are all ready. I'm so excited. I will see y'all on the plane. Yeah. Oh, so bad. Okay, so, okay, so. <laughs> okay, so we're on the aircraft and my hair, it's a windy day here. <laughs> I'm so dang hungry. I forget what the bakery's name was, but it's um, near gate Z20, like literally right a little bit away from Z20. Pretty close though. And uh, these sandwiches are so good when you're hungry. But we have a full boat today. I already told y'all the flying time is about like nine hours soon. So we're about to start boarding, did all of our safety checks, and I will see y'all when we get to, not Newark, Chicago.